Hello, my friends. I'm so glad to be back. Thank you for tuning in. Before I get started, I just want to mention that because of my two-week absence because of the hurricane and me not having any power, I wasn't able to maintain my YouTube channel and upload any new videos, and so my channel has been penalized. So if you could take a moment to just like this video, um, that would really help. It just would help other people find my videos and just kind of help me get back on track. So give it a like, and if you haven't subscribed, um, I'd really love it if you did because I'm going to be back on making content at least weekly. So anyway, sorry for the interruption, but there was nothing I could do about it. So today I'm going to be doing just kind of a simple graveyard manicure, a layered graveyard. So in the past I did a manicure of how to show uh, just like how to layer these images with different colors coming forward, but this is for Halloween, so... I'm going to use this plate from the Box of Night, Maniology M516. And then this is an older plate, uh, Maniology M071. And uh, these are should both be available, I think. But you can use any of these little graveyard images. These are fine. They're, they're all over on all kind of plates. So I think it would be fun to do a gradient. Nothing makes a manicure pop like a gradient. I swear you can put like a fancy gradient and then just the simplest stamp on top and it's like, whoa. So I'm just gonna put a white base down on my tips. I am using, uh, I guess these are medium coffins. Coffins seemed appropriate. So I'm just putting down a white base so when I sponge on my colors, they'll be bright. Once these are all dry, I'm gonna take my makeup sponge. You can just buy these super cheap at anywhere really, dollar store or whatever. And I pulled some colors here. These are the polishes that came with the box of night. We have a uh, Velveteen Shadow Veil and um, Moon, Wave, Moon Wake, excuse me. Uh, so I might use those. I also pulled out some semi-analogous ones, so. Um, this is Fay Kraken and Marzipan, so sort of like a dusty, dark pastels. And then I also got Euphoria Front Page and Raindrop for my grays. You know how I do it. I'm not really sure which I'm going to use. Um, I was thinking about using this to kind of make like a little misty thing in the back, so I'm not going to use that for my stamping, or for my sponging, I mean. So now I just need to decide whether I want to do a cream or a shimmer finish for my background. And I think I'm going to go with the shimmer finish in the back and then my creams will hopefully pop on top of that. So these are kind of interesting. It's sort of a purpley red, a blue, and a kind of like teal blue-green. So I don't know. Let's see how they look. This is a little bit strange. So the way I'm thinking about this is that if the sun is setting, then I'm getting the warmer colors on the bottom where the sun would still be. And then it's going to be a little lighter, I would think. And then the dark night sky on the very top. I forgot I'm working with kind of longer tips here. Let me yeah, expand that a little. I kind of like to squish it all in there evenly. Oh, that looks cool. So I'll keep doing that.
once these are dry, I'm gonna go again over them just to make them even more opaque. This is a choice you can make, of course, on how you want your colors to look. Uh, Cause this looks pretty cool up here with like the way the white is kind of shining through. It looks like clouds, uh, but I have a plan for what I wanted to do there instead. So I'm gonna go over, but if you wanted to keep it like that, that is cool. I think that looks really pretty. And sadly, we're gonna lose some of that red on the bottom. So I'm just gonna put it on the top. Yeah, that's nice. That really like brings it together. See, I was kind of unsure about how these were gonna blend. Kind of give it like a vignette. Wow, I mean, I could stop there. That looks fabulous. It's like peacock feathers or... Wow. This, these would look great with this new Ecot plate. And that looks so pretty to take like a, like a dark blue, dark navy or something. Very nice. I'm kind of thinking this needs some glitter. We need some stars. This is a paparazzi reach for the stars. It's just a silver, well, it's sort of silvery gold. Kind of hard to, um, hard to describe for me, but um, yeah, it goes really well with this, the shimmer that's already in these polishes. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. It's a little star. <laughs> I guess I'll keep it. It looks cute. Okay, pretty good. Still just a little tacky, which is perfect. I'm gonna start with my big trees back here. And I think I am gonna use these colored ones. I was sort of, I was thinking about using the Euphoria to make kind of like a swirly misty thing, but I think between the uh, finish on the polishes in the back and the glitter, I, I think this is just gonna make it look more confusing. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And here's how we do layered landscaping. It's pretty easy. Um, it's a little counterintuitive, but you're gonna to wanna to work from the back forward, of course, and you're gonna wanna work from light color to dark color. It seems maybe a little counterintuitive. You think maybe things far away would be darker and harder to see, but that's not the case. It's, things are much lighter. If you look at a photo or if you think about a mountain range, like the Blue Ridge Mountains where I live, the, the ones in the background are very soft, blue, kind of purpley colors sometimes, then they get darker as as they move closer to you. So that will be the most realistic thing to do here. So I'm having trouble deciding, maybe I'll just use the grays, the kind of darker gray ones. I like the idea of adding color, but maybe we'll just add some little details or something with that. So I'm gonna start off with front page here. So uh, the other thing about these kind of images, see how we have a big open space here. If I scrape like this, this part of the scraper is gonna make contact with this etching, and then I'm gonna get a big blank space there, and I don't want that, because I don't wanna have to go back and color it in again by hand. So all I gotta do is just turn the plate. And there you go. So I'm gonna start kind of a little further up the nail. Maybe like that, doesn't matter if that's not covered. Hmm. 
I'm gonna try to keep them right about the same. The same there. Looking very cool. And then last one is like that. And I like that this tree is here too, because I want to do three layers, at least three layers, and this is only two. And I don't really feel like doing any reverse stamping. So let's move on to this tree. Looks pretty good. Just going to put it a little bit below. Sure, you can see where I'm going. This needs to be mixed. We'll add some more of these cute little gravestones. I'm going to grab one of these trees. And then I've got like this little house thing here. A crypt maybe? It's a pretty housey looking crypt. Now I'm taking this there we go. This is a really crowded graveyard. Have you ever had a supernatural experience? Have you ever had a ghost experience? I never used to believe in that stuff until it happened to me, which I think is how it works for everybody, pretty much. Um, yeah, I lived in New Orleans for like three years and uh, they call that the city of the dead, you know? And uh, yeah, I had a, I lived in a house that was haunted <laughs> by a little boy. I, it sounds crazy. I'll have to tell the whole story, but I want this video to be a little shorter because I don't have enough. I still don't have internet here and I'm just going to have to upload this on my data. But um, yeah, remind me about my ghost story. It was really creepy. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Okay, those look amazing. I kind of feel like we need to add like some little ghosts or something though, right? Okay, I just found this. This little owl thing. It's pretty cute. I'm gonna put this in the foreground. I'll put little glow in the dark eyes though. Whoops, that's a lot.
I think his eyes got a tiny bit messed up. That looks so cool. This is Beauty Big Bang XL027, in case you can't see that. I can't really find like a ghost that I like. This was in the um, this was the extra for the clear jelly stamper plate of the month, and I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. I don't. I just don't really like this clip art style. However, this little ghost looks kind of perfect. So let's see. Not sure if this is gonna work. Oops. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can kind of see it. I don't even know if I want to put that outline on there. Let's look. Let's look and see what it looks like. I just love how depressed this ghost looks. I don't know. It looks kind of like a fish, actually. It'll just, it'll just be an ectoplasm then. I don't like the way these. I don't like the way this looks. <laughs> look at this bird, though. <laughs> I like that. That's so funny. But yeah, I don't know. It's just like, it's so scribbly. That's kind of cute. This guy and this guy are like friends, right? He's like, oh my god, I'm so glad to see you. It's been forever. Yeah, man. Okay, well, I kind of wanted to put something on there, but I'm just messing around too much, so I'm just going to skip it. Because um, honestly, they look really, really good as they are. Let me just put that this magical top coat on top. Oh my gosh. Wow, so what do you think? I think they look fantastic. They look amazing, and how easy was that? See what I mean about the gradient? I mean, even on its own, it would look pretty cool, but the gradient just, mwah, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I love it. So let me know what you think. Um, thank you so much for your patience and everything through this storm. I know y'all are understanding, but I just feel like I gotta say that. I'd really love to get some more videos and stuff going on. I just heard that the internet company was down the street trying to string lines. So um, I miss you guys and I appreciate all your comments of support. I didn't get to reply to all of them. I do apologize. Um, but uh, I did feel the love. I feel the prayers and I appreciate that so much. And um, anyway, back to nails. I'm done with it. I'm done with thinking about this stupid storm. But um, these nails are giving me life. Let me know what you think, and if you have any ghost stories, I'd love to hear it. Maybe we can kind of like, maybe we can make a manicure about that. Anyway, thanks so much, my friends. Really appreciate you, and until next time, bye!